all over the world there are farms who feed the people. These farms produce enough food to make sure everyone can get their dinner. However, in some, if not most places, these farms don't operate at maximum capacity. This is because the farms are constantly being attacked by plagues. To fight against the plagues, people use pesticides which are harmful for humans and the environment. This can be avoided with the use of the newest genetic modification technology, most notably CRISPR-Cas. The farms can operate at capacities with a height never seen before without the use of pesticides. Here follows an explanation of how CRISPR-Cas actually works. CRISPR-Cas is a type of genetic modification that deletes or changes specific genes inside living cells. It is based on a natural system that is used by bacteria to protect themselves from viruses. This bacterium produces two types of short RNA, which are called guide RNA. The guide RNA and a Cas9 protein form a complex. Cas9 is a nuclease, which means it is a type of enzyme that can cut DNA. The guide RNA and Cas9 complex attaches itself to a matching DNA sequence. It cuts the DNA after it reads a sequence called PAM, which stands for protospacer adjacent motive. This sequence can differ from different types of Cas enzymes, such as the Cas9 from Streptococcus pyogenes. It recognizes the sequence NGG, which is read from 5 to 3. The N in this sequence can be any nucleotide. Take, for example, the DNA order of C, G, G, T, G, C, 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 C. And the restriction enzyme, Streptococcus pyogenes, that cuts after the order N, G, G. After the DNA is cut by the Streptococcus pyogenes, the enzyme will make place for a new piece of DNA. This new piece of DNA can be anything that you put inside the CRISPR cassette. After this, the enzyme DNA ligase will produce the complementary strand by immediately putting the right nucleotide in place. The rest that isn't used will be recycled or thrown away within the cell. When this process is done, the cell with the new DNA will reproduce via mitosis into more cells. This way, all the new cells will have the same new genetic features as the callus that you started with. All these new cells then form a plant, which, for example, has a better resistance against frost or an immunity against a disease it didn't have before. This plant still needs to be tested in multiple settings, so it will still take time. But still, it's way faster than the breeding we use now. This, for example, will take 10 years, while normal breeding would take 50 years. CRISPR-Cas can be used for many different things. The most accessible and ethical will be to use it on plants of the same species that can be bred in a traditional manner. This is cisgenetic modification. But it can be used much more broadly. You can also use it on completely different species of plants and even from plants to other organisms and the other way around. Both of these methods are being used to make plants grow better with less pesticides. There have also been experiments with other organisms than plants, but these were not for the general market. Sadly, not everything is possible through the use of CRISPR-Cas and other genetic modifications. You cannot make flying tigers or laser shooting zebras.